He came. All right, so I feel like I'm getting an idea of how to summon cards. And I'm back with another Shrippum OP02 while I talk to you about dentistry and answer all the questions that you never know knew that you needed to answer today. And I know what you're thinking. Joku, why, why do you look so completely professional? And the answer is because I'm a professional dentist. It's true. The rumors are true. I look at teeth all day. I think about teeth all the time. And while I open these packs of One Piece cards, I'm going to talk about some of my ideas about teeth. Luffy's got great teeth. He keeps them in great shape and he can restore them by drinking milk, which doesn't work in real life. I'll have you know. There are some things about like losing a tooth and putting it in milk, but it's actually better if the whole tooth comes out, you should put it in salt water, not milk. You'll have a better chance of reimplanting that tooth if the tooth comes out completely and you want to put it back in. Don't put it in milk. You can if you want to tell a better story. It's definitely funnier to put a tooth in milk than it is to put a tooth in salt water. But if you're looking to have your tooth really fixed, salt water is the move. I'm not opening these revision packs, but the promotion packs, yes, because this is how you pull Boa right out of a pack. I'm nasty at this game. That's how it goes. That's how the river flows. And if you follow it from your head down to your toes, you'll remember that Dr. Seuss was the best app rapper to ever live. It's the truth. Anyway, all right, so yes, teeth, crowns. Do you know what a crown is? Have you heard somebody say, oh, oh no, I need to get a crown. Well, they have to have the crown of one of their teeth replaced. And it's interesting that your teeth are referred to as crowns because crowns are valuable. <laughs> Oya G. Thank you is Dokuda Daskata Yo Yeah, it's true, your teeth are valuable. They're really valuable. And and if you have to replace them, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um and it's interesting that your crowns, the tip of your tooth is called a crown because it suggests value, right? Crowns are valuable. Royalty wear crowns and they're shiny, shiny crowns for their shiny teeth. Um but yeah, you know, your tooth has a uh, has a crystal in the enamel. Yeah, I, I like to say that your teeth are crystals. That's slightly misleading. It's not actually that the whole tooth is a crystal. It's that the outside portion of the tooth has a crystalline structure. It's made of a crystalline structure called hydroxyapatite. And it's easy to remember because when you're hungry, <laughs> when you're hungry, you have an appetite. So, uh, Hydroxy, you just put hydroxy in front of appetite. It's spelled a little different, but that's essentially what it is. It's hydroxy appetite. It's a crystal that makes up your tooth. Now why why is that so cool, Joku DMD, if that really is your name wearing that hat? <laughs> oh, Kinemon! Oh my god, look at this sweaty dude. This man is sweating. He's got sweat dripping from his face. He's got snot dripping from his nose. This is it. This is this is all I ever want in alternate art leaders. It's just sweaty men. Give me an arsenal of sweaty men on little rectangles and I'll be happy. I'll be a happy boy. I don't think in set three, definitely, there's definitely not as much sweat on the leaders. Um, I think the leaders look really cool. I know there's a lot of people that dislike the what they've the direction they've taken with the leaders, but I think they do look good. They're just not as sweaty. And I love, I love swinging a sweaty boy. <laughs> I love swinging sweaty boys. That's, I said that, I said those words. Anyway, your teeth are crystals. Yeah, it's crazy. So you have like this skull that hangs off of your, or that's sitting on top of your, and then Odin out of the next pack, old hen, just like that. That's how you pull heat from packs. So you have this 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 mouth full of crystals that's hanging out of your skull. That's kind of wild. I mean, it, that sounds like a pretty pirate thing if you ask me, right? Like skulls and crossbones are, that's pirate business to begin with. We all know that. And then on top of that, you have crystals hanging out of that skull that you communicate everything to the world with. You know, all your speech, all your, your breathing, eating, all that is done with a bunch of crystals 
they're hanging out of your skull. And that's why I wanted to be a dentist is because all dentists have treasure boxes because you go to a dentist's treasure box and pirates have treasure boxes. So I, 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 I wanted to be a dentist, but I also, well, I want to be a pirate, but I also want to be a accepted member of society that can help my community out uh, because, you know, that's just kind of a, 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 a more efficient way to exist these days in the world. And um, yeah, it made the most sense to become a dentist because one, I get a treasure box and two, when people don't get to take care of, when people don't take care of their crystals, I take them and then they're mine and then they become my crystals and I can do whatever I want with those crystals. I can make a hat. I can make a necklace. I can make earrings. I don't actually ever make jewelry out of other people's teeth. I actually uh, put them into biological hazardous waste or if you want your tooth back, I'd be happy to give you your tooth. Uh, it just needs to be cleaned really well. Oh, Ben Beckman. Oh, yeah. I want to see. I want to see what goes down with all that business. I don't know if y'all are up with the manga, but that last, the last couple chapters have been some insane heat. I mean, here's two guys that we've been waiting for to fight for like decades. I mean, I haven't been reading for decades, but I understand the sentiment of waiting decades to see some boys fight, and those guys throw down. And I don't want to say more than that because I don't want to spoil it. But we should be coming up on an alt art soon. But yeah, you know, your teeth are crystals and that makes them valuable. So you should value your teeth. It's important. It's important to take care of them. They get really expensive to fix and it's like not particularly comfortable. And uh, it's easier if you just take care of them right off the bat. So having a good hygiene routine, which you can watch some of my other dental tip videos and learn about the hygiene routine that I recommend. Um, among other things, it's just, it's good to understand the value of them. Cause when you value something, you take care of it. Yo, Garpo, that was, I was just talking about this man. He came. All right. So I feel like I'm getting an idea of how to summon cards now. I think, I think I have a better idea. I need to figure out what the relative information is to Ace. I'm going to try and pull Ace in one of these videos soon. But yeah, that's that's it. That's the alt art. That's the shrimp. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learning about why your teeth are valuable. So take care of them because if you have an easy routine, that's maintainable. It's like wiping your butt when you stand up off the toilet. Like you don't want to get off the toilet without wiping your butt because you got a bunch of poop in your butt. That's disgusting. If you have all this stuff in your teeth, you want to get it out of your teeth and it makes you feel better. You're not doing it because Joku DMD recommended doctor's recommendation to brush your teeth. You're doing it because it makes you feel better. And you should always do things that make you feel better because that's important in life. Sankyu gozaimasu. And I'll see y'all in the next one.